Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to check in with our January budget for the first week. So if you saw my video yesterday, you know that I just set all of this up <laughs> and that was definitely a longer video. So if you have not seen it, I encourage you to go watch it and be sure you've got some snacks and a cozy blanket. I've been on a roll with the long videos this week, <laughs> but I just set that all of this up and then I just tracked all of our transactions tonight. So we are all set to go there, but I thought I would just kind of walk you through the setup and everything like that. So we are going to be tracking our bills in the monthly view. And by the way, this is my planning to prosper digital budget planner. I do have an Etsy shop where I sell digital planning and budgeting products such as planners and digital like budget inserts and stickers and all sorts of fun things. So I do have links in the description box down below. If you are interested, you can always use the code prosper P R O S P E R 1515. Uh, to save 15% off everything in my shop. So I just thought I'd mention that real quick because I always get questions about, you know, what I'm using and all that good stuff. So we have had a couple bills come out. We've had our mortgage, our HOA, our gym membership. I'm filming this in the evening on Wednesday. I don't know why I keep filming evening videos. I feel like I like not speak properly because I'm so tired. But again, this is the only time I had to film this. I didn't want to have to like rush and film it tomorrow and everything um, before I started work. So I just figured I'd do it tonight. But anyways, um, we also paid our water and trash bill and our Southwest gas bill. Those bills will be going down. They're just kind of like our first bills where we had to pay activation fees and we had to pay to get our trash cans dropped off at the house. It was like a $60 fee, something crazy. So yeah, so there's that. So this is the area where I will be tracking our bills. And that's pretty much all that will happen in the monthly view. And then I've got my monthly budget, my weekly check-in page set up, and then my spending tracker. And my spending tracker is where I'm going to track grocery, gas, and eating out transactions, as well as unbudgeted transactions. If we have like an other category, um, say we budget for a special event that month or something like that, then that would go here as well. And then miscellaneous income will also be tracked here. So I have it kind of color coded. I used a pink highlighter to highlight the grocery transactions, a yellow one to track gas, and then a orange one to track eating out. So that makes it a little bit easier to kind of see all of that. And then I've also got my sinking funds and transaction log here. I'll go through those transactions in more detail in a little bit. And then I also have my business budget as well. So I've had a couple transactions for my business. Today we're just going to focus on the spending tracker and then I will also walk you through our sinking funds and kind of what's going on there. So the first thing that we are going to track is grocery. My pink calculator that I have used in the past must have gotten lost in the move, so I did replace it because I do love this calculator. It's very like basic, but I love it. It still does quite a bit. But anyways, so let's go ahead and track our transactions. So our first one was for Costco for 38.05 and then fries for 102.84 and 74.39 for um, grocery. So that total is 215.28. So I'm just gonna go back here and we're gonna write that in. So two, 215.28. And we budget 600 for grocery, so I just subtract 600. And that gives us 384.72. And we're gonna be doing our grocery shopping on Saturdays. So we still have, I believe it's four Saturdays left. So that gives us about $96 per week to spend on groceries. That's not a whole ton, but hopefully, I mean, yeah, we will do our best to make it work, use what we already have on hand as much as possible, make sure we're meal planning. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now with grocery. And then for gas, let me go ahead and check off the grocery that we tracked all of that. 
And then for gas, we did fill up our Avenger. We did recently sell the Avenger. We just wanted to give it, um, give it to my stepdad with like with a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> give it to my stepdad with a full tank of gas. I swear I cannot talk when it's this late. I I don't even know why I'm trying to do this, but I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Bear with me. And then we also got it washed for him. So that was fourteen dollars plus six ninety nine. So twenty ninety nine for gas and we haven't had to fill up the journey yet we are now down to one vehicle we only have one car and i did get the avenger removed from our policy and everything so we budget 80 dollars for gas so that gives us 59 dollars and one penny remaining so that would pay for a fill up for the journey we really don't drive very many places and everywhere we do go is really, really close by. So I think that that will be totally fine for the month. And then for eating out, we just had one transaction for eating out. Um, my husband took Maddie, our oldest daughter, to the gym and he got her a mango smoothie while they were there. And then he accidentally knocked it out of her hand <laughs> when they were in the parking lot, like getting ready to go in the car. And of course she was really upset and everything. So he took her to Circle K and got her like one of those little ice cream sandwiches. So it was $2.99 for that. But that's the extent of our eating out this month so far. And we budgeted $160. So we are budgeting $40 for every Saturday in the month because our plan is to actually go out to eat after church. We wanna kinda of make that a tradition of ours is to go out to eat after church, even if that means just picking up something and bringing it home, just you know, to do something a little different with the kids and kinda of create that tradition. I'm personally a huge fan of traditions like for family life and things like that. I am pretty nerdy about it, so, um, so yeah, that's kinda of what we're planning there. So we still have plenty for that. So 160 minus 299 gives us 157.01 remaining. And then we did not have anything for unbudgeted, which is always great. So that takes care of our weekly check-in. And yeah, everything's checked off there, so that's great. And then I will take you over to our sinking funds. I do need to put in two transactions because my husband just bought a couple things from Amazon. So I'm gonna do that with you guys and then we'll go through the rest of the transactions. So um, he purchased some aminos for himself for working out. So that was today. And he decided to take that just out of his personal money. And it's $48 and I'll just put aminos. And then he also did get a lock for the gym for like the lockers and everything. And that came out of household. And it's $13.92. And I'm just gonna put, uh, well, I'll put uh, gym lock. Then one thing I just thought of, I had to replace our pickle. <laughs> we, um, we do the hidden like pickle ornament for Christmas every year and um, the pickle broke. We have a toddler and I mean, yeah, pickle broke. So let me see if I can get the order details. So our new pickle, that was today as well. We took down our tree and everything today. So that's gonna come out of Christmas. That was $14.64 and as I was shopping for the pickle, I'm just gonna put pickle. <laughs> I did find a book that went with it, so I went ahead and ordered the book because I just couldn't help myself. Um, so that will come out of Christmas as well. I didn't even know they had a book, but I think that will be really fun to read that to the girls. So it was 1084 for the pickle book. Okay, 
So now we've got all those in. So we had, let's see, for entertainment, we did go to the zoo um, as a family on New Year's Day. That was really fun. We just had to get one pass. We had two free passes. This pass was for a kid. $24 for a kid to get in the zoo is insane to me. It's insane. So yeah, I don't know how often we'll be going to do that. The only reason we went is because we had two free passes, but yeah. Anyways, so there's that. And then I did get some Nespresso pods for our Nespresso. That was $45. Andrew um, got himself a bottle of wine the other night. And then he also got himself some shower shoes for the gym. Um, just to wear like in the gym shower and everything. We picked up some wipes for Julia from Costco. And then I did get a storage bin um, for our closet, our master closet. And we're currently working on getting that organized. It's been a process. I did think about like filming it, but honestly, organizing this stuff is happening in such tiny little bits and pieces because we're not really so far. We haven't been able to like work on it for a long stretch of time. So um, I will be doing a empty or not an empty house tour, a fully furnished house tour eventually though. We just have to finish up our master bedroom and the office. And once that's done, I will film that video so you guys will see everything at that point. But um, and then we did get a silicone placemat for Julia. She had been sitting in a high chair for the longest time, but we decided to give a booster a try because she just always seemed like she was kind of upset <laughs> to me sitting in the high chair away from the family. And sure enough, she has been loving sitting at the table, but we have a pretty nice table. So we wanted to, you know, protect it. So we put down like a silicone placemat that we can put her food on and all that kind of stuff. And it like sticks to the table. So it's really nice. And then I got some shower shoes for myself as well for the gym. I had to get a new food scale. Um, I, I'm on a weight loss journey currently and I'm using Weight Watchers and having a food scale makes life so much easier. So you don't have to like whip out all these different measuring cups and everything. So I've got a food scale there. And then our big purchase was an air fryer. And that was kind of a WW purchase as well because um, I'm on the purple plan and potatoes are zero points. So we can make like homemade um, French fries and things like that. So I just wanted, I've got the skinny taste like air fryer cookbook and, um, and then yeah, we've just always wanted to try an air fryer. So we decided to go ahead and purchase that for ourselves um, to use. So I'm excited about that. And then we did get a two year car tags for our Dodge journey. I just went ahead and did the two year one. Um, they offer it in one year or two years, but I didn't want to have to worry about it for a while. And um, we put enough money in our sinking fund to where I was like, let's just do the two years and we don't have to worry about it until 2022, I think. So that'll be nice. So um, there's that. And then all the transactions that we just put in for the aminos and the gym lock and the pickle situation. So, um, but yeah, that is pretty much it though for everything for this first week in January. I would say things are going very smoothly so far. So if you guys have any questions or anything, of course, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be, ha um, I would be happy <laughs> to answer any questions that you have. I think I need to go to bed. What do you guys think? I think I do. <laughs> it's time for time for me to go to sleep. So anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you're having a great week. Take care and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.